Hello everyone, it's me Arvind catching you on another Matt Tutor Edu's lecture video. Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the horizontal test and by the way, we are still within the inverse function subtopic. Okay, in my previous videos, I've discussed about the vertical test and actually they do have a sig significant difference between vertical test and this horizontal test. Okay, I just want to clarify in this video. Okay, so vertical test is to check whether a graph is a function or not. Whereas this horizontal test, which I'm going to explain to you, is used to check whether a graph has an inverse function or not. Okay, so that is the clear difference, guys. Okay, so enough with the explanation. So let me just straight away jump to the uh, example. Okay, so let's say uh, I draw a graph here. Okay, so y x okay now origin oops okay now it's better okay i named this graph as fx equals to square root x okay so now we need to check whether this graph has an inverse function or not so how are we going to do that okay so let me teach you okay so you draw an horizontal line okay by the way it's my phone guys okay so sorry okay you draw a horizontal line okay throughout the graph okay you can choose any point it is up to you but make sure it is uh, intersecting the graph guys okay so I choose the middle point here okay, and I draw horizontal line and as you can see here, hey, where's the origin, by the way? Okay, this is the origin. Okay, and by the way, as you can see here, it is intersecting only one point at a time. So since it is intersecting only one point at a time, so we can conclude that this graph has an inverse function. Okay, if it does not intersect one point at a time, let's say for example, maybe two points or three points, then we can conclude that this graph do not have an inverse function. Let me just write the answer here. So therefore, fx equals to square root x do have inverse function. Okay, so I hope you understand the explanation, okay? I have another three more examples, so we're going to go through that as well, okay? So let's take a look at the example one. Example A, you have fx equals to 2x to the power of 1 over 3. Okay, I'm so sorry if it is not that clear. This is actually x to the power of 1 over 3, okay? So we're going to check whether this graph has an inverse function or not. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw horizontal straight line. Okay, and as you can see here, it is only intersecting one point at a time. So we can conclude that fx equals to 2x to the power of 1 over 3 do have inverse function. Okay, so that is for the uh, example A. So let's move on to the example B, guys. Okay, you have fx equals to 1 over x. Okay, so we need to check whether this graph has an inverse function or not. Okay, we can do that by performing the horizontal test. You can choose the point anywhere, guys. Top, bottom, doesn't matter. Okay, let's say I choose the bottom now. Okay. And as you can see here, it is only intersecting one point at a time. Okay. And we can conclude that fx equals to 1 over x do have inverse function. Okay. So from here, let us move on to the last example. So the example C, 
As you can see here, you have fx equals to 1 over 2, x to the power of 3. So as you can see, this is actually x cubed, guys. If you can't see it clearly, I'm so sorry. Okay, it is 1 over 2, x cubed minus 5x. So now we're going to check whether this graph has an inverse function using the horizontal test. Okay, so from here, let me draw a horizontal line. Okay, and as you can see here, you have 1, 2, and 3. We have 3 uh, points intersecting at a time. Okay, since it is intersecting more than one point at a time, so we can conclude that fx equals to 1 over 2 x cubed minus 5x do not have inverse function. Okay. So I hope you understand this concept. So let me scroll up. Okay, so that is all for the horizontal test concept. Okay, I hope you understand the explanation that I've taught to you together with the examples that we have go through. Okay, if you like this video, make sure that you give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming AdMats lecture videos in the future. And not to forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in another video.